Shalom Aleichem. Shalom. This is Up Close and Personal with David Gabay. David Gabay, all of you probably know him very well, and we're having a discussion up close and personal. So first of all, welcome. Thank you. I'm not the president yet, but ah. another, another two days. Like they say once a president, always a president, <laughs> yeah, right? Yes. <laughs> um, first of all, before we even talk about the presidency of the mm -hmm. Spanish or Portuguese, um, you know, we just, the 30th of November is, uh, you know, the expulsion or the uh, Jews from Arab lands yeah. that have been either expelled or left yeah, because yeah. they felt Not that secure. it wasn't secure enough. Yeah, yeah. You, you and your family lived through that. Absolutely, yeah. So can you tell me a little bit about it? Well... Look, as you know, like the uh, we probably go back to the Babylonian expulsion, about twenty five hundred years ago, and so we were in Iraq before Christians, before mm -hmm. the Muslims, before, right? You know, and um, so some of us stayed, and I think that we're the remnants of that. And you thrived, and the, the oh, family yeah, thrived, thrived, like, thrived, like you know. So in uh, before nineteen forty eight, one third of Baghdad was Jewish. Wow, one third of Baghdad. Amazing. It's amazing, and we we had. Uh, they were the banker, they were the merchants, they were everything. And, um, and then when, it, when Israel was uh, as it, uh, declared as a country, they decided, well, the Iraqi government sent an army with other armies to, to destroy uh, the new infant in Israel, and then um, they lost. Mm -hmm. So that's a, probably it's a culture. If you that's, when be, they, for, that's when it then started they to... Have, they, they hate us, they started hating us because... Oh. They lost. They lost. Mm -hmm. They lost big time. So they stopped picking us. They, my my father was put in jail for two three months wow. you know, because he had a letter came from Palestine at the time. So automatically uh, they, they identified. And then right? like you know like this. And anyway, so uh, in 1951, somehow they um, they said whoever wants to leave, he has to leave everything here. And so a lot about 90 percent of the people decided to give up whatever they have, land, uh, properties, and just leave. And they just left. Take a, take a plane. And, and they left everything behind? Everything. And they, Wh Where do you think all this okay. is happening? Where, okay. What's happening with all of the stuff all right. that you so had? So what, what happened is they had um, uh, a minister, uh, what do you call it, a government um, agency or ministry that was in charge of uh, Jews who left, you know? Yeah. Wow. So they had they took the, over all the building, the synagogue, this and this and that. They they took it over, they took it over. But they left in the name of the people or the institutions, but they were taking the in, the rent from it. Mm -hmm. All these years, because somehow the Iraq, with all of it, you think about it, they still have, they want to go by the law. The law yeah. was like you know, like, uh, yeah, yeah. So they kept everything stayed in the books and the top of what they call it in the in the registry and the they stayed in the original names. Then the now the new government came, the Shiites, and they cleaned everything up, or uh... they started changing. Like they have a, this one belonged to them, so they changed it somebody's name, and they took the money and they went to the Shiite militias. That was all the money that That's right. left. Now it became to the Shiite militia. But anyway, so from nineteen fifty one, there's about ten thousand Jews left. And you were one of them, of our family, and over the years started leaving more and more. So towards when six days or what happens, were only three thousand. Wow. wow, and they really started hurting. And us. you were still there when there was three thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm, so I'm, I'm almost the one who closed the light. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. And, yeah, it's amazing. It was amazing. It was sad, but anyway. Yeah. So we ended up also leaving everything. How old were you, by the way? I was twenty-two. <sighs> wow, so yeah. you, you know, teenage then, years. Yeah, I was in university. Yeah. Wow, and, um, and wow. Uh, they uh, when um, they started really mistreating us at the university and one day uh, friends of mine from school from the class they came and they tell me oh we know you're a spy for israel and uh, if you come to and that, these are friends of, that's so-called friends of yours we're there, you that, know the, right the same you were in school. school yeah and then the guy pulled a gun and he said look if, if you're not um you know i'm telling you i'm gonna sh kill you tomorrow so I wasn't like said, look, you know, I'm like what? Hey, you're out of your mind. You this don't talk to me that. And he hit me with his gun here, and he cut my face. You know. Oh my anyway, God. so then in 1969, that's when they hanged 
11 Jews in, in, in the center of Baghdad. Was that also Ades? Was it? No, no, Ades not, is 1951. That's 51. This one was 1969. That was, 69. that was after. 1969, 11. Didn't you get like an like a sense already when uh, when Ades actually was? Uh, well, that's when the people left. They, they, yeah, they, that's they when would, the exodus they, they, they started. So, but the 10,000 were harder heads, they call it, whatever. They wow. decided to stay. But some of them were smart enough, so they left two Slowly. years after, five years, ten years later. And we, we were the ones who stayed to the end. So when, for me personally, like I was in the university at the time, and they we came to the class, they said, you know, go back home, there's no classes there. Why? Well, said they, they hanged the Jews. And I went home and I see the TV, it was showing like 11 bodies. Oh my goodness. And people, hundreds of thousands of people, they celebrating. 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 And at that day, I said, I'm divorcing in my roots. That's like it. I have nothing yeah. to do with yeah, these yeah, people. Yeah, I have yeah, nothing yeah. to know about them. And wow. I still have the same feeling by the way. That didn't change. I still feel like that, you know, anyway, was it I met a guy who was um uh, a street vendor, like he sandwiches and bagels, correct, whatever. Correct. He said that day it was the best day of his life. He sold so much food because Oh people my god, because there were so many people on the square, everybody celebrating, everybody celebrating. celebrating. Of course. Dancing. So it it, 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 it almost it almost it's it's almost reminiscent of of what's happening now when something happens in Israel the Palestinians or any, or or anybody no. other some, group that is you celebrating. You want something that's really exactly what happened now, and yeah. that's why whoever is from Iraq wasn't surprised what these guys did. Mm. 1941, there was um, a revolution against the king, and um, they um, the, the British helped put it down. Yeah. So the. The people were didn't were not happy, so they let them vent off their anger. Mm -hmm. They let them go, so they came and they attacked the Jews in Iraq. They killed at the time almost two hundred, and uh, they raped. Oh, yeah, they yeah, killed yeah, babies. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow! They wow. they uh, robbed homes. Some of them, new story from my grandmother, whatever said like you know like they you know in, we have it also maybe like you know you, the babies they put uh, golden. Um, bracelet on the thing That's right. the hand, yeah, you know, yeah, sure, sure. and they couldn't take it they used to cut, oh, the, they cut the baby's hand to take it off and so whatever they did now their cousin did it in they 1941 did it again, yeah in so it's very it's very fresh every time you see that you then, see like you know for us again like somebody who comes from uh, europe although like it has it's, the, not, the, it's yeah. not the same they can't be oh okay we've done it they've done it we've seen it so this is like a very dark uh, dark. part of the history yeah. and especially yeah. of your yeah. history and everything. You came to Montreal and what did you guys do when you came to Montreal? Was that the first stop? No, you went no, before no. you were in Israel. Went to Israel. I, was Israel, Israel. Right? I was in the army. I served in the Israeli army yeah. and uh, wow. speak Hebrew very well. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. You know. And then we came here in 1977 and uh, we started. By the way, one question very quickly. Why yeah. didn't you stay in Israel? Why didn't I? Yeah, there was a, a lot of people know. left. <laughs> You could, oh, because they asked you for president here, okay. <laughs> no, no, I tell you honestly, no, <laughs> listen, I, one of the reasons, honestly, like, you yeah. know, like, I was there, I was drafted, right, when I was there, Yom Kippur War happened, I was, I was in, still in the technical, 1973, three. I was in the I was studying, you know, yeah. and I see two things happened, the, 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 um, Munich, in Munich? 1972, yeah, yeah. I was Munich in, I was in the, I was in the Technion. And we were students, they were looking at the wow, thing, and, wow, and they were dying, wow, they brought the coffins. Wow, wow. And then 1973, Yom Kippur. And Yom Kippur, I was drafted right after that. I went to the army. And um, I still had to, like, you know, I had to deal with a lot of funerals because they, a lot of soldiers were buried in the Sinai. Oh they didn't have to, so you had to, uh, I had to yeah. bring them back. And so I was, whenever I go home, I used to be under guard for the funerals. So every week I come back. Yeah. yeah. So this is a up close and personal, which is a very, you know, unplugged. So if somebody's knocking at the door, but go ahead, please continue on. I'm going to ask you to continue on. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, but, David said to come at two, but I wait. Doesn't matter. Okay. Two minutes. Okay. So, look at this. This is very natural. <laughs> it's, that's that's amazing. So go ahead. so. You know, like after coming from Iraq, after what I went through, came to Israel, like yeah. what happened to the uh, Munich. That's so, right. And then so all this David, accumulated. All this, you know what? I said, I, I already had a very unstable, call it ex not in a good way, exciting life. I want peace and quiet. You know, and that's why I mm -hmm. left. Really. Mm -hmm. 
that you know like and I was yeah, every you, time you, so so far the whole I mean all your childhood your teenage years your adult beginning adult life was like very tumultuous you have a lot of stuff going yes, on yes, a lot yes, of uh, yes, yes, yes. a lot of happy night times but a lot of yeah, very yeah, dark definitely times definitely it's not your average uh, yeah 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 you're not in the average Joe <laughs> that's for sure you know so I decided yeah. at the time I said you know what enough I, enough. I want just peace and quiet you know, you know? and you came to Montreal was yeah, it is peace and quiet. You couldn't go to Florida. <laughs> hot, hot, no. I, didn't have, I was gonna go, but didn't have the the visa. Oh, the that's visa. right. All right. I wanted to be. Uh, so you came to much. You came to Montreal, and now I'm going. Ninety seventy seven. So, let me just jump a little bit faster, fast uh -huh. forward a little bit, because we can we talk well, about exactly. this like, for a long, long time. But fast forward, you became the president of this congregation at the Spanish and Portuguese. Yeah, in 2006. 2006. But you did something during that your presidency. What was the... What, uh, the biggest thing, you see, because when, before I came, everybody's talking about we have to do renovation. Yes. For years I heard that. Yes. You got to do renovation, you got to do this, you got to do that. And um, I decided, you know what, let me take a chance. You know? Wow. And... Uh, so the thing is the chicken or the egg, you know, yeah. like, you know, like you go and say, okay, I want to do a project. The project, we thought at the time there was $2 million. It was more or less what it's finished, two and a half. Where do you get that money? You know, if you got people, I'm going to go hungry. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, so, you need big money. You need big money. Need so big money. what I, you know what, you sell, there's, there's no price tag. It's like, okay, I want to sell the, the hall, the entire hall, which was the Montefiore hall. That's right. What a price. Yeah. Is it a thousand? Is it a hundred? Is it a million? There's no price. You know, what do you want to do this? So, so it's uncharted territory. And, you know, and I knew 99% of the money is going to come from big donors. Yes, the smaller right. guys, like, you know, kind of a thousand. Yeah, yeah, thousand, not gonna, thousand yeah. You're not, not going to make a big uh, chicken uh, pot it. with that, you know. <laughs> so I knew what was, that's the key to get a big donor. So where I can go, you know, the, the mesh has their thing, the Lawi has their thing. The, um, the only one is the Montefiore Hall. Montefiore Hall. Now, what do I do? Like, you know, it's the name of the family. And that time, definitely, Montefiore is still alive, you know? So I, I went to Rabbi Joseph, said, Rabbi, like, you know, the only way I can do this, if I convince Daphne to, to, let, her, to, to, let, to, let, her, to let her have the name, and I'll put a plaque for her father. Her father is a lot. I don't say no, but listen, now it's different times, you know? A hundred percent. So I went to Rabbi Joseph. She lived in San Sover somewhere. Went to her house. She was very nice. And we told her what you want, and she said, fine, it's good. Really? Yeah, okay, no problem. She said, no problem. No problem, wow. no problem. So I came back, you know, and said, well, now we have the first uh, item, you know, the first item, and then we started, and I had an offer, 200,000, one family said, no, it's not enough. I have to start high, otherwise yeah, 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 yeah. you have to build. like uh, 100%. So I said, no, I already want that half a million. Crazy stuff. That's well, it. That's, you know, that's, that's what it is. That's Otherwise, how am I going to get two million if I don't start with that? Anyway, and then another family came, two seventy five. I said no. A third family came, three hundred thirty. So many people would have said, okay, it's a good money. Yeah, yeah, good money, right? But you, I said no, yeah. no, no, no. And one day I'm sitting at uh, the thing, the Lebanese and uh, uh, Elliot and Tabi comes and he was sitting there because I know him, like you know, yeah, yeah. You know, it's his son and my son are friends. David, how are you doing this and that? So, how much you want for the um, this hall? I was sitting in the because they used to work, <laughs> they were steady, they were praying there in the, during the holiday yeah, in yeah, Lebanese. Yeah, yeah. I said uh, honestly, I want five hundred. I said yeah, sure. I said yes. Will you accept five oh five? Five hundred and five dollars. Yeah, or five 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 thousand. Five thousand. Except <laughs> here, Baruch Hashem. Yeah. And you took, and, and you took wow. it. So once we took that, that everything, the, everything in the south. Yeah. So the mashal, you come to the mashal. I mean, how could you go? We go like you know, uh, this guy can pay five hundred. Five hundred. You have to yeah, pay more. The... So you got a million from the mashal. So you were a good businessman. I, I have to so. tell you, that I, 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 because I, to yeah. sell to sell today, and especially to give money. To a synagogue and everything, it's a hard sell. And 15 years ago, and Not that's what I'm saying. 15 yeah. years ago, and that's a lot of money. A lot of money. So, and then we got the Nizri 
gave the yeah uh, the, the, the three, arc 360. And, that's right. Uh, they got by uh, the Ronnie took the Ten Commandments for 150. I think. That's right. So you 100. have like many different things. That so we from big donor we were over two million dollars right off the bat, and that's how we do. I need to talk to you after off, we offline because I have somebody who wants to donate something, but we need to talk about how not today. I just I'm running out. Not today, of not course. Today, no. He's today. busy. Just, so here I got we go. Four appointments from now. I know, I know, I know. So here, here, here is the the, the last question mm -hmm. for today. The last question is: You've done all that. You went through all that track. You know the ins and outs of this the synagogue, the people. I was thirteen and, years. Yeah. More than executive. So thirteen years. Exactly. So yeah. you know everything. You know almost, everybody. Almost everything. Listen, you know, you know. But a I was lot. disconnected in the last few years. That's I okay. Think, yeah. That's okay. You need to disconnect to <laughs> reconnect, right? Yeah. yeah. So the question is, what? Now you're you're becoming again Bezat Hashem president in a couple of days. Um, what is your aspirations for the synagogue coming for coming going forward? I tell you, first of all, I have such a deep love to the synagogue. Yes, amazing. It's my second home. I've always been one hundred percent. Um, big respect to the people who were before me, the people who were this and yeah. who've been running it. No question about it. And I think it's a, when, when I was president last time, I used to sit down and, you know, we sit at the thing, uh, hour, three, four hours every weekend. So you have time to, every yeah. Saturday, you have time to think. Yeah. And I came to the conclusion, the same thing you need hospitals for the body. Yeah. You need the synagogue for the soul. Yeah. And I saw people who come, yeah. people with all kinds of problems, some yeah. of them, yeah. Like, yeah. You, know, yeah. you know, everybody yeah. has yeah. to go through a lot. A hundred percent. And this is the, uh, the place where they come, the sanctuary where they come. And to seek some kind of spiritual help, whatever Solid. it is. So yeah. I thought this is like as much as the hospital is important. This is important. Unless I believe in it, by the way. So now, like with all the things that came, and uh, it's, I thought, I, mean, I, I didn't really want it first, but then I decided like with nobody really was everybody. Said, oh my God! Yeah, yeah. And uh, I like to take big challenges sometimes. <laughs> so I think it's um, there's a. Look, we have we have a good method. We're not starting from zero. That's like right. you know, they already have a yeah. nice um, yeah. uh, minion on Shabbat. You have a nice minion here. We have a good uh, clergy, so we have something. I'm starting from zero, but still we have to financial is very Stability important. Yeah, still and, is very important. And, 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 like, and growing and, and growing. going for like, you know like and then again what's the chicken or the egg? Like you know, so if you give the service and you give the you do the atmosphere, people are happy, happy to come. They'll give. That's because right. there's a lot, thank God, like, you know, like, I mean, they, a lot of our members are, do they very well, and Hashem. they're still doing well, you know, Hashem. but you have to give them a good reason yeah. to give, because there's a million good reasons, but you have to be also here to have, so we have to show them, like, you know, the first, not to say, ask for money right away, but we're going to show them that really we're building, taking care of, taking care of everything, like, you know, and today is very challenging because everything's happening around us, right? No question. This is like people around. today, it was a big, even wake without up, the wake war, up. No, no, even, even without, without the war. I mean, there's people, there's a lot of agencies that are, you know, everybody's reaching out to the same people. Yeah. So we have to, we have, you, have, you know, like people want to give money and if you want to give significant money, you want to make sure like, you know, for a good reason, right? right? And if they see really we're on the right track and we're building and the younger people are coming, you know, that's very important. These are the, the people of my son's age in their 40s, 30s, 40s, young families. And that's how when they start coming here, these are the future, of course. That's right. That's and so right. once people see that, I'm pretty sure they will open their they hearts and their, their wallets and, their and wallet. they, they come. So to put everything into one, uh, uh, one track, you want financial stability for the future and you want the new generation to come in Absolutely. and invest that's in our, their future the, like coming let them in come. And i don't giving, want the money just let them come i understand you know i understand it's like but you need three, both you need both you know there's a story we so they told us in school in iraq you yeah know? there's a king he went he was going on his horse and yeah. went around they saw a farmer farmer in his 90s and he was planting trees he said he laughed, laughed at him he said was this by the time the tree is up, you're the ground? Yeah, he said, they, they, our parents, they, they, they planted, planted trees for me. I ate from it. Now I'm planting for the new future. The same thing here. We want to plant. We bring the new generation in so they can That's take right. over. You know, what a beautiful way to end this wonderful uh, discussion with David Gabay. We want to wish you hatslacha rabba, many, 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 many good years of like fruitful. Uh, 
the trees of your labor, the fruit of your labor, the <laughs> tree that you're planting now, Bezat Hashem, for the future. For the children of God. Amen. Chazak Ubaruch. Chazak Ubaruch.